Shabbat Shalom, eight and up class. Good morning. This is Big Sister Tamar, and I will be giving the lesson for today. Today's lesson is entitled, What is Independence Day? The holiday called the 4th of July is another name given for Independence Day. In this lesson, I will give you a brief summary of what is Independence Day and why people in America or Americans celebrate it. I will also go over why we as children of Yah should not celebrate this country's national holiday. What is Independence Day? Independence Day, which is also known as the 4th of July, is a day to commemorate or remember the adoption of the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence is a written statement, letter, or document which was written primarily by Thomas Jefferson and other founding fathers declaring America's independence from Great Britain. The 13 colonies, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Virginia, Massachusetts, Delaware, Georgia, and Maryland were the first colonies or states that made up America. During the American Revolution, the legal separation of the 13 American colonies from Great Britain occurred on July 2nd, 1776. Although the signing of the document is celebrated on July 4th, it is not the date when all the 13 colonies signed the document. Congress approved the document on July 4th, 1776, but the Independence of Declaration document was officially signed by all the delegates on August 2nd, 1776. So the legal separation occurred July 2nd. Okay. Some of uh, the uh, delegates signed it on July 4th, but all of the delegates signed it on August 2nd. So August 2nd, 1776 was when it was really officially, um, what do you say, approved or officially done, completed. Thomas Jefferson and John Adams, two of the five delegates to write the Declaration of Independence, died on the same day, July 4th, 1826, the 50th anniversary of America's freedom. Wow. Americans celebrate this country's independence, and we know by doing what? They throw barbecues, they light firecrackers, they have parades, they salute the flag, they go to public or private affairs. Um, they do many different things to celebrate this country's freedom from Great Britain, right? So that's what Americans do, or people living in America who want to also commemorate this country's freedom um, or legal separation from Great Britain. Okay, so I just, so I just gave you a brief summary of what is Independence Day. Brief summary, very brief. Uh, the Fourth of July and why Americans celebrate it. Now I want to ask you this question before we go any further: Why shouldn't we celebrate America's freedom? Why shouldn't we, children of Yah, who are striving for righteousness, why shouldn't we celebrate America's freedom? Why shouldn't we, the Israelite, the so-called black man, Negroes, uh, niggas, whatever they call, it, call us, why shouldn't we celebrate America's freedom? We live in America, right? If America free, then we free. Isn't that right? Turn your Bibles with me to Romans 12, verses 1 to 2. I call upon you, therefore, brothers, by the compassion of Yah, or through the compassion of Yah, to present your bodies a living offering, set apart, well-pleasing to Yah as your reasonable worship or service. This is a part of worship. And do not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may prove that good, well-pleasing, and perfect desire of Yah. Do not be conformed to this world. Just because the majority is doing it does not mean that we are to do it. Just because the majority of Americans are celebrating Independence Day does not mean that we ought to do it. If the majority is doing something, you may want to look deeper or find out the reason why they are doing it. Because in most cases, 
the majority is doing something because it is an easier thing to do. Some people don't even really understand why they're even celebrating Independence Day. See, the majority of people is not going to worship Yah. Worshiping Yah means to live, to live a disciplined life, to keep His laws and commandments. And most people hate discipline. Is it is easier to do wrong than it is to do right? It is. It is either easier to tell a lie than it is to tell the truth. Is it? It is easier to steal than it is not to steal. I call you strong, my little brothers and sisters in class today, because you are striving, y'all willing, to resist evil and cleave to that which is good. Something the majority is not able to do or not willing to do. Maybe willing is a better word that they're not willing to do. We can't celebrate a country's freedom when we are not free. We can't celebrate a country's freedom when that country was the one that took us into captivity, enslaved us, and then lied to us and tell us we're free, only to find out that we are not. We are not free because Yah has not freed us, and the majority of Hebrews or um, Israelites are still enslaved mentally as well as physically. They may have took off the chains off our feet. They may have gave, uh, said that uh, we should get paid for our uh, labor and so forth. But mentally, we are still, majority of us are still enslaved. And physically too, because they find other ways to physically uh, enslave us through prisons, etc. We can't celebrate a country's freedom when that country is anti-Yah. It does not teach the people about Yah or believe in Yah. Therefore, it is anti-Yah, which means that it is against Yah. If America is anti-Yah, which it is, then it's an enemy to us because it's Yah's enemy. It's either you're for Yah or against him. There is no in-between, no gray area. It's either you're hot or cold because lukewarm people get spit out of Yah's mouth. You ever had lukewarm water before? Water that's not hot or cold, just warm? Not even room temperature. I don't know about you, but that tastes disgusting to me. So I'm going to spit that water out of his, out of my mouth. That's how y'all feels. You're either hot or cold. No in-betweens. Israelites were still enslaved physically and even mentally, even after the uh, legal separation of the 13 American colonies from Great Britain, which occurred on July 2nd, 1776. So America is free from Great Britain, and we as the so-called black man, the so-called uh, Negroes, are still slaves. And they want us to celebrate this country's freedom? you got to be kidding me. <laughs> some Hebrews still celebrate it anyway because of their ignorance, and some are still doing it today because they are still ignorant. Okay? Israelites were slaves and our slaves. Our ancestors were taken into captivity and driven to the four corners of this earth because of their disobedience to Yah. He told our ancestors that if they disobeyed him, that he would punish them as such. Deuteronomy 28, 68 reads, And Yah shall bring you back to Mitzrayim, Egypt, bondage, slavery, and ships by way of which I said to you, you are never to see it again. And there you shall be sold to your enemies as male and female slaves, but no one to buy. Till this day we are still in Misraim, a place of bondage. We're still in that land our ancestors were driven to. So we are not free. We're waiting for Yah to free us. For no one can free us but Yah. When Yah frees us, what a great day of rejoicing that will be. Hallelujah. Turn with me to Deuteronomy 30, verses 1 to 3. That's Deuteronomy 30, verses 1 to 3. And it shall be, when all these words come upon you, the blessing and the curse which I have set before you, and you shall bring them back to your heart among all the Gentiles where Yah, your father, drives you, and shall turn back to Yah, your power, and obey his voice according to all that I command you today, all that Yah commands you, with all your heart and with all your soul, you and your children, then Yah, your power, your father, shall turn back your captivity, he shall turn it back, and shall have compassion on you, and he shall turn back and gather you from all the, peop from all the peoples where Yah, your power, has scattered you. 
Wait on y'all for your freedom, my little brothers and sisters, little ox and the coaties. Wait on y'all and he shall renew your strength. Hallelujah. The United States of America is Mystery Babylon. And we should have no love for Mystery Babylon because Mystery Babylon is anti yah if it is anti yah then it is not for yah and we should have no love for a country that is not even for yah when the remnant is awake cuz a lot of israelites are still sleeping they're waiting to be awake meaning from their from their spiritual uh slumber um their mind need to be awakened to understand who they are as a people to grab hold of their nationality and to stop being ignorant when that remnant is awake um, and it's Yah's time, he will redeem us. For he said so, and Yah is not a man that he should lie. We will return back to our true land, the new Yahushalom. Hallelujah. Revelations explains that. Hallelujah. If we obey Yah, he will reward us for our patience, our love for him, our, our endurance, and our work. Hallelujah. We will be saved and can enter into that new Jerusalem or Nehru Shalom. So wait on y'all little Hebrews and Shebrews. Wait, I say. Wait, and we will be free. Then we will really have something to celebrate. Hallelujah. We will have something to celebrate. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom to each and every one of you. That is the end of today's lesson. I pray that much understanding was received. I pray you understand why we do not celebrate or we should not rather celebrate Independence Day because it is not in the will of Yah for us to celebrate this country's independence, this country's wickedness. Shabbat Shalom to all of you. Shabbat Shalom.